I think, I hope. I think so, yeah. Right, okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, Graham's in chat. Hello, Graham, how are you doing? Good to see you. I have lots to do, but we'll keep an eye on you too. Cool. Cool. I'll be keeping an... Well, I won't be keeping an eye on you, but... I'll be uh, unboxing these boxes. Unboxing the box of boxes. Uh, let's get some stuff out of the way. Alright, those are plants. These are fish. And these are more fish. Over here. Right. Cool. Um, let's see if this is going to work. I hope you can hear me well and everything and whatever. Uh, it should be fine, I think. Let's see here. It's looking good. All right. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, let's get on with this. You know what usually happens? Um, so what usually happens, I do these streams, and then at the end, everybody comes in and they've missed a whole unboxing. So <laughs> that's what usually happens. But uh, I don't care. I'm going to continue on anyway. Oh, whoops. Uh, because, you know, I got stuck to do it as well. Ah. I'm fine. I'm always so useless at opening these boxes. There we go. Oh, looking good. Looking good. Got tons of stuff here. I, I, you guys are on charge, so I can't can't go too far. But look, all types of fish. Let's get some stuff out. Um, Okay, let's start with a fish. Just pull any bag out. And let's go with this. I think these are some neon tetras. Yes, they are indeed. Here are 60 neon tetras. We've still got more neon tetras than this, but these are 60 of them. Alright, so those are 60 neon tetras. Going straight in there. Where's the other bag? I think this is the other 60. That makes a total of 120. I didn't order 100. I only ordered 105, but I guess we're getting more than that. Which is fine. So we've got 120 neons. Neons go quick anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, right. Let's see what else we've got. I think I know what these are. Yep. Some uh, Siamese golden algae eaters. Can you guys see them? Yep. I'm thinking I want to put these in my Jewel Rio 450. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not too sure yet. But if I do, then I better you get them out of the bag straight away and not put them in the tank. Anyway, I'll float them up there just, just for now. Okay, so we got those. Moving on. Right here. <gasps> these are the ones that I've been waiting for. These are the glass catfish. Take a look at how cool these are looking. Hiya Russell, how are we doing? Good to see you. Yeah, take a look at these. These are really cool. Okay, let's get these in the tank and get them uh, used to the water and everything. They are kind of cold, but there is a heat pack with them, so. Alright. 
let's see, I think we've got some corners here. We do indeed. We have some Julii Cori's, or false Julii Cori's, so you could call them trilin Triliniatus. You can't really see them too well in there. But this is just a little stock up. Since we already have them. Yeah, nice albinos. Alright. Now, these are also really interesting. Oh, these are still small, but these are really cool fish. So what these are... The Sodomogils Gertrudei. I think they're also called Gertrude's rainbow fish. They're still young, but these are going to be beautiful. Um, so anyway, those are going to be going in here. Yeah, they're going to look great. For sure. Um... Then, next up. Right, this is a really special fish, yeah? So this fish, can you see this fish? This is a really special one. I'll give you a little second to spot it. Can you guys see it? No? You can't? You sure? You sure you can't see this fish? Come on, put your guesses in. Really glass catfish. Um, maybe. No, there's nothing in this bag. This is just a filler bag. I'm messing with you guys. I'm messing. <laughs> yeah, filler bag. So, it's just, uh, you know, that everything's nice and uh, neat and strong. So there's no fish in there. But, um, but yeah. Uh, hello, fish fam link. Fish fam link is here. All is good. All is good. Right, so we've got uh, those. And then we've got those as well. So we've got all our fish. It's part of our fish. Uh, these are all Amano shrimp. But these are nice and big ones, which is good. Take a look. Nice big Amanos in there. Looking really nice. You see? Yeah. So these are some nice amanos. Uh, so those are going to go... Let's check here. Those are going to go in there. Problem is it never fits. So I'm going to just dump some, some of that here. So I'm just going to dump some in there because whatever all right so you can see all fish are in and acclimating uh, this bag can go out it's a rubbish bag mm. right cool uh, let's see not many people here <laughs> Um, probably because everybody in the U.S. is still asleep, or most people are, at least. Um, but it sounds good, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it does sound, the stream sounds alright, it's cool, alright, nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's see, let's see. So we've done that, okay, this is a really, well, a special book. This is a 
Watch, watch this, okay? So this box here, this has some cool fish. In this box is something we haven't had before. Can anybody guess what it is? I'll give you a tip. Sorry. I'll give you a hint. It's a cold water fish. Alright? Yeah? So it's a cold water fish. Are there any guesses what fish this could be? Cold water fish. How often do you get deliveries? Um, it really depends, but this past little uh, few weeks, it's been pretty often. Like, I had a delivery last week, um, and then the delivery before that was like three weeks before that. So, I would say usually every two weeks, something like that, but it can be more often. So, sometimes every week, sometimes uh, every two weeks, sometimes once per three weeks. And that's pretty much it. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. Black mole, goldfish. You're close. You're close. You're close. There might be some in there actually, but you, you're definitely close. Right. Seven people watching. Two likes. So something is wrong there. Or YouTube is broken. That's also a possibility, of course. But um, anyway, let's open this up and let's see what's inside. Big box for a little bag. Well, that's not entirely true. Okay, there we go. We have got a selection of beautiful goldfish. There's some black ones in there as well. So these are just a your standard fantail mix. There's some beautiful ones in there. So yeah, we've got, we've got some goldfish. Andrew needs to be here, really. Because he likes goldfish. Um, so anyway. I don't know how I'm going to float. I can't really float. Can I? Okay. Alright, I just got them situated there. So yeah, that's all good. They do look really cool. They've got some nice colorings. So now we're going to just leave everything, you know, acclimate for a little while. Um, by the way, look at this nice big bag. I'll keep this, I think. Yeah. I think this is one of those koi bags, you know? If you've got a massive koi, you can bag it in here, because this is a big bag. So I'll keep that, that's, that's good. Yeah. Um, anyway, so everything is in and temperature acclimatizing. Is it acclimate or is it acclimatizing or is it acclimating? I don't know. What is grammatically correct is my question. Um, so yeah. Okay, nice bag. Yeah, I'll keep that. Um, maybe in the meantime we can do the plants. Yeah, let's do the plants in the meantime. Let's do that. Right. Let's do plants. Oh yeah, plant time. Is that a good view? Yeah, looks good. After this, we'll be stocked up nicely on fish, which is always good. And plants, by the way.
And I mean, these are just always really good quality. I mean, they always deliver on quality. Right, this is the package label. Right, I can sit down now, once and for all. Uh, let's see. Acclimatize, uh, wait. Acclimatize is UK. Acclimate or acclimate. Wait, what's the diff? Is US. So, acclimatize, that's UK, right? Acclimate or acclimate. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that good in English. Right. Let's see here. Let's unbox. Oh, there goes my pen. They've sent me 120. Do I still need to pay for those extra 15 that they put in? Because I didn't order them. Or do, the, do, or do I get those for free? That's my question, really. But If you stick a Z, Z in it, it's you. Ah, right. So acclimatize. Acclimatize. Give me. Yeah, like that. So acclimatize. Instead of. Acclimatized. Right, I, I get what you mean. Yeah, I got you. Okay, what, what are these? Let's see what are these. Augustamon Stellatus. Is he? Alright, looking good. There's only five pots in there. Oh, we've also got these. Red Ock. I tipped half the water out, but doesn't matter. These are red root floaters. Yeah, these look good. These look good. Very nice. How many have we got? Three of those? <laughs> look, I tipped everything over my leg. Alright, we've got three of those. Uh, hi Fishion, how you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing alright. Good morning, good morning. Well, it's good afternoon for me, but good morning for you indeed. Hmm. Or maybe I'm counting wrong. One, two, three, four. Oh no, there's six. There are six. Okay, so we've got those. Progostum and Stellatus. Six of those. Then, let's see, we've got six of these. Six of those. Six of those. Okay, let's... Um, so, six of those, six of those, six of those. Yep, we have got everything. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Okay, so we've got everything here. So we can put them in our... Uh, DIY greenhouses, which are not greenhouses, but doesn't matter. Just down here, we've got this. Look, I can, I can go down, 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 and in here. What time is it? Oh, one three o'clock. Okay. See, so we can place them in here. 
And let's start with these. And let's see. Are we gonna put these? Yeah, I'll put these in my here. Can you guys see everything? Yeah. Okay. Take a look at the amount of plants in this pot of Liliopsis brasiliensis. Take a look at the amount. <laughs> it's insane. The amount of plants you get in this pot. Absolutely insane. Nice quality here. Good stuff. Um, and we'll put those at the back. Yeah. We'll put one in there. One in there. Whoa! Okay, there you go. Plans complete. Very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, let me just wash this off. Take all this, you know, I'll put this in this box. 
Right, anyway, I think it's time to start unboxing some of the fish. Now, let me see what percentage we're at. Okay, we're at 6%, not that much. I'll set up a thing here. Where's the bucket? And we'll get a net. Yeah, okay, we'll get a net. Hopefully you guys can then see what's happening here. Okay, we'll start with the goldfish. Since, you know, those are the same temperature already, really. Okay, hope you all can see. Anyway, Indo the goldfish into the net. Right, and I'm just going to put them in. Hey, in they go. Oh, they look stunning. They're so cute. <laughs> Right. Guys, take a look at them. Come on. Wait a minute. Let me. <laughs> they look so good in here. Can I show you guys? If we're real quick. Take a look at them all. Baby goldfish. Yeah, that's a black moor, isn't it? Or this one here. So all different colors. Beauties. They'll be fine in this tank here. I think this is going to be one of my favorite tanks. Just because they're so cool. Anyway. Um, right. Right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, hello, Andrew, how are we doing? Too many goldfish in the goldfish tank. Too many fish in the goldfish tank. Well, they're only temporarily here. And, you know, if I keep up on water changes and maintenance and everything, I think they'll be fine. It's quite a big tank. I mean, it's not tiny. And look how cute they are. I love them. Look at this one. So cool. We can do a little goldfish live streams. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to be here their whole life, of course. And uh, I just think they look pretty cool, different colors and everything. I mean, you know, they can go up, they can go down. And as long as the water changes, I do water changes and water's good, then I think there's not a big problem. Hiya Gord, how are you doing? Good to see you. Keep up the water change so that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right, um, anyways. So that's fish number one. 
Okay, let's go on to um, the shrimp. So we have some Caradina Amana shrimp here. Hopefully J2 will be moving them on very... Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's the goal, isn't it? To sell them in the end, so... They, they won't be long there, I don't think, at least. But... Of course, I'll make sure they get proper homes and everything. Because, uh, you know... Some people don't keep them proper, and then you get problems. There's another one left in. Alright, that's all the uh, thingy bob shrimp in, the Amana shrimp. I might use some in my big tank, I'm not sure. Uh, let's hope so, yeah. Hi Foxy, how are you doing? Good to see you. No more manas for me, I don't like when they climb out of my tank and run across the table at me like they're land animals. I know, they are crazy with climbing and everything, I've got to say. So I always make sure my water level is lower, um, because it seriously, it is true. That if you don't uh, keep it uh, low enough, they will climb out the tank. Now, you can see them in here. Uh, there's quite a few in here now, of course. Some at the back. There you go. No, but like, seriously, even when I've got them in my net, they climb out of the net. They think they can do anything. Which they pretty, pretty much, they can do quite a bit. Um, anyway, so we've got some nice Hamanos in there. Next to... Um, um, you know, the goldfish, you have to see that, well, I might be able to film it once, but they seriously, they can literally, they can walk on land, it's crazy, look, here's a big one, look, he wants to come out, or she, But uh, so at the back, you can see I've got like a plate on there, and here you don't want it. You want it at least this height, otherwise they will climb out because I've, I've had that happen to me before. And it's not fun because you'll just find a dried up shrimp <laughs> on the floor. 
And then, once it's dried up, I'll give it to my uh, angelfish, and they devour it. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, it gets reused, but I'd rather it be alive, that's for sure. Right, anyway, let's get on to... Let's do quarries, yeah, let's do quarries. Okay, we've got some Julii quarries here. Or false Julii's, whatever. People always complain to me. But, I don't care. I still don't know the difference. Well, I, actually, I had a person actually point out the difference to me instead of just saying, oh, you're wrong, those are not Julia's, blah, 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 blah. But actually somebody being helpful and saying, no, these are not Julia's because these are the real ones and send me pictures and everything. But most people who say these are not real Julia's don't have a clue what they're talking about um, and then don't know what a real one does look like. So, yeah. Alright, take a look at these. These are really cool for you. In they go. Come on, guys, in. In they go. Wrong way. Why? Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on out. Little buggers. There you go. Alright, cool. Stocked up, stocked up. Alright, let's do the other quarries now as well. Unfortunately, you won't hear Andrew the rest of being exiled to the Kamaka Town floor. <laughs> they can't escape that one. I just ordered a bunch of Trinity Artists, my most favorite. Yeah, cool. Yeah, they are beautiful. A gang of wiggle puns. Let's empty this. Cool. Alright, let's move on to the neons. We've got 120 neon petrols. So, yeah. So, if anybody wants neons, I've got them. Oh, yeah. We love Corys, yeah. Do you not need to put a lid back on your... Oh, I do, actually. Yeah, I, I nearly forgot. They're there. I need to, yeah, I need to spray them. <laughs> right, let's do that first before we forget. Because knowing me, yeah, I'm young, but I'll still forget. So, let's do that first. Thanks for reminding me, Graham. So, I've got me, uh, me spray, you know. Plant spray. 
Graham, don't forget to upload your logo to the questions. I promise the answers are safe. <laughs> There we go. Right, so that's sorted now, so nothing can go wrong. Just like the young ones forgetting to do the dishes. <laughs> Hi Tim, how are you doing? Good to see you. I would 100% forget and shrivel up all my plants. Maybe it was a good idea to keep mine in water. <laughs> have you still got yours in water or have you also switched to this method? Because, I mean, this method is really good. I mean, all I've got is a little layer of water, put the plants in, lid on, and a bit of light, spray them each day, and that's it. Even if you go without spraying them for a day, they'll be fine. They'll just be a bit dry, but it'll still be all right. And, I mean, it's so much better. You don't have plants rotting. I've even, look, I've got, actually, let me, look, I've got magic. There you go. You know, I've got java ferns in here, a bunch of them. And they've been in here for quite a while, but just water, that's it. Give them a little spray and, you, and you're good to go, you know? Just so easy. Um, out uh, to the car for an appointment, I'll be listening. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Why not keep them in water? Well, so, like I just explained, if you keep these in water, totally fine, you can do that. But you need some kind of, you know, pump pumping the water around, you don't want stagnant water. Um, the problem also is, because these are grown above water, they need to convert to underwater, so they're gonna rot in that process. And I don't want that happening in my tanks because that's just gonna be extra work for me maintaining those tanks. Where, and I might also lose plants because of it and then lose money that way. So this is just really easy and everything just stays nice and fresh and healthy. So, yeah, I, I don't know. The, the, there's no reason why I wouldn't do this. I know a lot of people, um, maybe also know MD Fish Tanks does the same thing with keeping his plants in storage. He does this method. And it just works really well. It works really well. Now, it's different if you have... Let me turn this around. It's different, of course, if you've got like a, a, a shop and you've got people walking in and stuff like that. Then it's different. You want a nice display tank with your plants, and you know you've got those systems that exist for that. But here, people come here. Yeah, they do come here, but it's a bit more different. It's not like free for all just to walk around. It's like I'm right here next to them, so I can you know help them. So it's a bit different, you know. Um, so I think this this method works well for here. Um. Thinking of switching to your method, but worried I'll forget about them and to be fair, <laughs> not noticed any melting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You might forget about, you know, missing them and stuff. But it also depends on the plants, you know. Um, some plants, want, like a lot of stem plants will do totally fine. They'll adjust pretty easily. But stuff like crypts and stuff like that, that might melt a little bit, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Sell them for more when people can take them to their tank without... 
Now, there's actually a guy already trying to do that, and what they're trying to do is make their own line of plants that are submerged grown, so that people don't have issues, and yeah, they're a bit more expensive then. But for me, this is just an easier way of doing it. I don't want the hassle of, you know, maintaining the tank, because I've got so many tanks already. I mean, you know, look around you. We've got all of those, we've got over here, we've got over here, we've got up there, we've got over there, you know. Inside we've got more. We've got so many already. And these are low tanks, so it's difficult to do water change on these because you're so low down that the gravity is not even going to work with sucking stuff out. So it's just a pain, and so I think this is the best solution, I think. Um, but anyway, uh, let's get to um, putting some more fish in tanks before they die. Which they want, but... Yeah. Ooh, lovely smell of fish poop coming out of here. Always so nice. Ah, some of them fell next to it. No. Alright, in they go. So many neon. There's still one in here. Come on, come on, buddy. Let me get you out of here. You'll go in a better place. You're so small. Buddy, come here. Come here. Small little thing. Where are you? Are you there? No, you're still there. So many, so many. Okay, nice. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Hey Greg, how are you doing? Good to see you. All the uh, all the neons in. Nice. Okay, moving up here, we got the glass catfish, which are looking so cool. Anyway, let's uh, release them in. Young kids also like them because they are so weird. You know? I mean, they are they are a weird fish, really, to be honest. They're definitely not your standard. Uh, now, I've got an idea. If you require the in a little container, grab in a bit of water. Not 
Because these, I think I'm going to put in my big tank. We've got ten of them. I think that'll be nice. These are just some um, Siamese alligators, the gold variant. I think, yeah, we'll put those in the big tank. Nice colour. Anyway, let's put those in here. No! What'd you guys... You know, sometimes I really think, how stupid can a fish be? But it literally just jumps out of the... thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we've got 10 now. But to keep 10, we'll have to put this on top so none jump out. Look, guys, 10 of those. Those will be going in my big tank. But they, one of them just jumped out, so, you know, we have to put this on top. By the way, have you guys all hit the like button yet? I don't think so, because there's nine people watching and seven likes. So if you could hit the like button, that would uh, be appreciated. Anyway, moving on to the last bag, actually. Yeah, last bag. Believe it or not. These are really cool. These are the Gertrude's Rainbow Fish. Um, they are still small. But that's fine, they're gonna grow. They're gonna grow. No, they're gonna grow, they're gonna grow. No, give them a chance, give them a chance. Beautiful. Oh yeah, they look good. They look good. What's this fish? That's one of them as well. Another one! Yay! Alright, that's all fish done, guys. There we go. Nice. Good job, everyone. Um. Alright, cool. Now it's clear up time, and you know, we need to get them used to everything. Also, I need to move some fish around. Um, let's see. still have this one, this bag of fish, <laughs> which is no fish. <laughs> That's all done. Okay. 
Whoa, slip and slide. Oh yeah. Slip and slide. In the eyes of Luna. Is that a song as well? I think so. Was it? I don't know. It might be different. I got no clue. No clue whatsoever. Right. Alright, looking good. So this is our bag of rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Right. Is everybody still alright? Yep. Been live for nearly an hour. Right, let's go over the fish real quick. I hope I have... I hope I have enough battery. So, starting off here, we've got some Armano shrimp. Which are here. Moving on, we've got some uh, beautiful goldfish. Look at this one. Little dumplet. <laughs> They're so cool. Uh, so yeah, goldfish, goldfish, goldfish. In this tank. Uh, in here we've got our albino quarries, which are at the surface already, again. I don't know why. But they are. Then we've got our 120 Neon Tetras, starting to colour up already. Happens so quickly. In here we've got our Julii Cories, or False Julies. Then up here we've got our Glass Catfish, which are just there. That's about it over here, I think. Then we've got these, of course. Which I'll be putting in my tank inside. And then we got the um the where are they gone? They're in between these. There and there and there. Looking good. Alright. And of course, discus. Why are you guys sad? They're sad, look. They're definitely sad. I don't know why. Maybe because I took the eggs from them. That could be why. I need to clean this tank. It's a mess. Got our other discs over there. More babies down there. Look at these. Oh, whoops. Baby! Albino plecos. Look how cute. I posted a short where you could see their heartbeat. So amazing. Yeah, really nice. These would be a nice snack for these discus, though. Yeah, for sure. But those are cute. And this rainbow fish is pretty nice. So, anyway. That's everything here. Yeah, let's shake that out. So, anyway, we've got fish, plants. we even got products. I've got a um, light over there. Just for a customer. I think it's time for my granddad nap. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, this is looking good. I think I still, what I would like to do is, well, first of all, Because, I mean, right. See that? So now I've got that done, so I can net those. All right. See you later, Andrew. We'll see you on uh, Graham's stream tonight, I think. 
But thanks for stopping by and leaving the like and subscribe. Well, you already subscribed, but you know, we get the gist. Well, you get the gist. Why do people say you get the gist? I don't get it. I don't get the gist. Why are these so fucking fast? If you've ever tried to catch the zebradanio, then you know what I'm talking about. If you have never tried to catch zebradanios, then you will not know what I'm talking about. Okay. Zebra Daniel is caught. Mission accomplished. Now this side, which could be more tricky. Zebra Daniel caught. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Probably not. Um, oh, and we didn't get the albino uh, rainbow shot. See, I thought a lot was missing. A lot was yeah, there were some things missing. I remember now. Okay. Right, I want this rainbow shot. Because I'm going to put them in the new tank. And here's a fat one too. But I want to put two of them in really. the other one. Let's see. Hi, Mal. How are you doing? Good to see you. What are you saying? I can't see it. I can't read it. Uh, you can sleep tonight when the women carry you, Andrew. <laughs> right, so these are the fish I'm going to be putting in the tank. A beautiful rainbow shark, a nice and healthy, fat, big one. We'll just have a nice one of those. And then 10 of the gold Siamese algaeters. All right, everything is sorted now, and it's caught and everything. All right, happy with that. Cool. All right, I think we're done, guys. I think we are done. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finished. We are, we have successfully 
Oh, by the way, what do you guys think? Should I put some of these redwood floaters in my tank inside? I think I will. Because they're going to be nice in there. Yeah, I think I will. For now, they can just stay here. Yeah. Alright, anyway, guys, I'm going to round off. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody else is streaming right now. Maybe Foxy is? Or Whip? Let's see. Um, can't see anybody live right now. So I'm not sure. Maybe Whip will be live. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. Yeah, Whip will be live in about an hour. So there you go. And uh, of course, oh, Foxy's on in eight minutes. Okay, cool. But have you got a plan? Where have, have you got a plan? I can't see it. Uh, whatever. Um, so Foxy's on in eight minutes. So go watch that. And um, anyway, then Whip will be on after that. Then I think Johnny No Shoes will be on. And then I think it's time for the big finale with Graham on the. Uh, Friday stream, where there are, wait, what do you always say, fun quizzes, prizes, I don't know, something like that, anyway, I'll see you there on those streams, and uh, I need to finish some things, I need to finish the video for tomorrow, so I'll finish that, and it'll be out early for members, of course, so yeah, enjoy that, and I'll see you guys sometime, bye.